Gaganyaan orbital vehicle is an Indian crewed orbital spacecraft intended to be the basis of the Indian human spaceflight program. The spacecraft is being designed to carry three people, and a planned upgraded version will be equipped with rendezvous and docking capability. In its maiden crewed mission, Indian Space Research Organization's largely autonomous 3.7-ton capsule will orbit the Earth at 400 km miles altitude for up to seven days with a three-person crew on board. The crewed vehicle is planned to be launched on ISRO's GSLV MK3 in December 2021. This HAL manufactured crew module had its first UN crewed experimental flight on the 18th of December 2014. Topic: History. Preliminary studies and technological development of Gaganyaan started in 2006 under the generic name Orbital Vehicle. The plan was to design a simple capsule similar to the Mercury class spacecraft with an endurance of about a week in space. It was designed to carry two astronauts and to splash down after re-entry. The design was finalized by March 2008 and was submitted to the Government of India for funding. The funding for the Indian Human Spaceflight Program was sanctioned in February 2009, but it fell short of full political support and it obtained limited developmental funding. Initially, the first uncrewed flight of the orbital vehicle was proposed to be in 2013, then it was revised to 2016. However, in April 2012 it was reported that funding problems placed the future of the project in serious doubt, and in August 2013 it was announced that all crewed spaceflight efforts by India had been designated as being off ISRO's priority list. By early 2014 the project was reconsidered and was one of the main beneficiaries of a substantial budget increase announced in February 2014. ISRO is developing the Gaganyaan orbital vehicle on the tests performed with their scaled 550 kg Space Capsule Recovery Experiment SRE, which was launched and recovered in January 2007. The latest push for the Indian Human Spaceflight Program took place in 2017, and it was accepted and formally announced by the Prime Minister on 15 August 2018. The latest design calls for a crew of three. Topic. Funding and infrastructure. A crewed spacecraft would require about 124 billion rupees, 3 billion dollars over a period of 7 years, including the 50 billion rupees, 1 billion dollars for the initial work of the crewed spacecraft during the 11th 5-year plan, 2007 to 12, out of which government released 500 million rupees, 10 million dollars in 2007-08. In December 2018, the government approved further 100 billion rupees, 1.5 billion dollars for a 7 days crewed flight of 3 astronauts to take place by 2021. Madhavan Chandradathan, director of Satish Dhawan Space Center SDSC, stated that ISRO would need to set up an astronaut training facility in Bangalore. Newly established Human Space Flight Center HSPC will coordinate the IHSF campaign. Existing launch facilities will be upgraded for launches under Indian Human Spaceflight Campaign with extra facilities needed for launch escape systems. Russia is likely to provide astronaut training, and assist with some aspects in the development of the launcher. In spring 2009 the full-scale mock-up of crew capsule of Gaganyaan was built and delivered to Satish Dhawan Space Center for training of astronauts. India has already successfully developed and tested several building blocks, including re-entry space capsule, pad abort test, safe crew ejection mechanism in case of rocket failure, flight suit developed by DeBell and the powerful GSLV MKII launch vehicle. Having met all required technological keystones, the Indian Human Spaceflight Program was accepted and formally announced by the Prime Minister on 15 August 2018. Gaganyaan will be the first crewed spacecraft under this program. Topic. Description Gaganyaan is a fully autonomous 3.7-ton spacecraft designed to carry a three-member crew to orbit and safely return to the Earth after a mission duration of few orbits and up to seven days. Its service module is powered by two liquid propellant engines. The crew module is mated to the service module, and together they are called the orbital module. Based on the payload capability of the GSLV-3 booster, the service module would have a mass of about 3 tons, the space capsule will have life support and environmental control systems. It will be equipped with emergency mission abort and emergency escape that can be done at the first stage or second stage of the rocket burn. The nose of the original version of the orbital vehicle was free for a docking mechanism, but primary entry was evidently through a side hatch secured by explosive bolts. Following two uncrewed flight demonstrations of the spacecraft, a crewed Gaganyaan is slated to be launched on the GSLV MK3 launcher in late 2021, about 16 minutes after liftoff from the Satish Dhawan Space Center (SDSC), Sriharikota. The rocket will inject the spacecraft into an orbit 300 to 400 kilometers above Earth. 
When ready to land, its service module and solar panels will be disposed of before re-entry. The capsule would return for a parachute splashdown in the Bay of Bengal. Crew module is equipped with two parachutes for redundancy, while one parachute is good enough for safe splashdown. The parachutes would reduce the speed of the crew module from 216 meters per second to 11 meters per second on splashdown. Topic: Re-entry test. On the 13th of February 2014, Hindustan Aeronautics Limited handed over the first crew module structural assembly to ISRO. ISRO's Vikram Sarabhai Space Center would equip the crew module with systems necessary for life support, navigation, guidance and control systems. ISRO undertook an uncrewed test launch of the vehicle aboard the GSLVM K3X1 experimental sub-orbital flight on 18 December 2014. The GSLVM K3 launcher with a dummy upper cryogenic stage filled with liquid nitrogen to simulate weight of fuel was launched at 9.30 am from the second launch pad at Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sriharikota. The crew module separated from the rocket at an altitude of 126 km. On board motors controlled and reduced the speed of the module until an altitude of 80 km. Thrusters were shut off at 80 km and atmospheric drag further reduced speed of the capsule. The module heat shield was expected to experience temperature in excess of 1,600 degrees Celsius. Parachutes were deployed at an altitude of 15 km to slow down the module which performed a soft landing in the Bay of Bengal near Andaman and Nicobar Islands. This flight was used to test orbital injection, separation and re-entry procedures and systems of the crew capsule. Also tested were the capsule separation, heat shields and aerobraking systems, deployment of parachute, retro-firing, splashdown, flotation systems and procedures to recover the crew capsule from the Bay of Bengal. Topic. Pad abort test The Indian Space Research Organization's pad abort test was due for March 2017, but it was delayed to 5 July 2018. It was a success. See also Human spaceflight Indian Human Spaceflight Program Space exploration <laughs>